never went inside at first. It was when we pulled up, it, the flames were coming out of every window from from the one firewall to the other. It's the last thing the old American cord and webbing mill will be known for. Once it started going, our, our biggest concern was collapse and keeping the firefighters out of the collapse zone, which we were able to do. So the building did collapse. Bright orange flames lit up the Halloween sky, sparks flying everywhere, flames growing in the 115-year-old brick mill. Now called the Lincoln Carrington Building, the old mill has been vacant for years. The facade now collapsed and charred. The fire is pretty much, I won't say under control, but it's knocked down and hasn't extended past the firewalls. Top brass with the Lincoln and Lonsdale Fire Departments have always worried this old textile mill's thick wooden beams and oil-soaked wooden floors would one day ignite. And on Thursday, that fear became a reality. But preparation paid off. We've had this building pre-planned for, for years, and I didn't think it would ever happen. But it did happen, but our pre-plan worked. That means crews knew right away exactly where to park their fire trucks and begin their attack. Some who own businesses nearby spent the entire evening worrying about their buildings. But overall, all four adjacent companies fared pretty well. They were all exposed, but may, I think just one received minor damage. The other, there were three or four others, uh, four others, and they all, all still standing. And, and why, all good. Why are they standing? I understand you took some care to really cool down and doubt our, our main priority was to protect all the exposures. Well, I got to give credit to uh, to the firefighters, all the fire. We had six alarms here, and every company that was here has been working to put the fire out, and we did. But I have to give credit to the firewalls, too. They did their job. That's what they're there for.